Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about simplifying radicals. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So before we start simplifying this kind of radicals, let's have first the anatomy or the parts of a radical expression. So I have here the square root of 4x squared. Again, this is the square root of 4 x squared. Here, in this given expression, basically, this line is your radical sign. This is your radical sign. And basically, we have a number, small number here, which is the index. By the way, guys, when you are experiencing or leading a radical, in which there's no number outside here, we have here an invisible 2. So I will write here, if the radical has an index of invisible number, automatically, its index is equal to 2. So again, this is read as the square root. Next, the expression, like 4x squared, the expression inside the radical sign is what you call the radicand. So when you're asked by your teacher, what is the radicand of this given radical expression, you will tell her or him that the radicand is 4x squared. So I hope that you have it and let's go with the examples. So what we have here is that we are asked to simplify the following radicals. Basically, guys, I suggest that before diving into this kind of topic, what you need to do is to memorize the first 10 perfect square numbers. We have 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, and 100. The very reason is that this perfect square numbers may have a perfect root. Let's say, for example, you will try to get the square root of 1. The square root of 1 is 1. The square root of 4 is equal to 2. The square root of 9 is equal to 3. The square root of 16 is equal to 4. The square root of 25 is equal to 5. The square root of 36 is equal to 6. The square root of 49 is equal to 7. The square root of 64 is 8. The square root of 81 is 9. And the square root of 100 is 10. Pero kung kaya nyo siyang lagpasan, like yung um, 11, uh, 11th and up na perfect square numbers as well as the perfect cubes, much better dahil those are the numbers na matutulungan kayo in simplifying radicals. So now let's try to solve or simplify the following radicals. What we have here is the square root of 25. We know that 25 is a perfect square, meaning we can get a perfect root for 25. And the square root of 25 is simply 5. You need to memorize this, guys. Okay? Now, let's go with item number 2. Item number 2 is the square root of 32. Compared to 25, so let's have the list here. 25 it belongs here, we're in, we can get a perfect root of it. Or in other words, meron tayo mga kong square root ito, which is a whole number. While 32 is not included here, meaning this one is not a perfect square. Okay? So, the question here, are we go how are we going to simplify a radical that is not a perfect square? So, what you need to do here is to factor out 32 where in one of the factors is a perfect square. The factors are 16 and 2. So as you can see, 16 times 2 is 32. So it will become the square root of 16 because we have a property times square root of 2. Where in, when we simplify this, since our space is not enough, I will try to put it here. This is square root of 16. 
we'll put outside the, so the answer is 4 then copy the square root of 2 this is the answer okay so that's it guys now let's move on with item number 3 number 3 we have the square root of 4 x to the second power here our 4 is a perfect square so we can get a perfect root of 4 and here how are we going to get the square root of x square since the index here is 2 okay since the index here is 2 what will happen here is that we will get the square root of 4 which is equal to 2 and the square root of 2 of x square is simply x so how did we get x actually guys when you try to get the square root of x square i will try to put some explanation here the square root of x square is simply x so how did we came up with x when you convert this into expression with rational exponent it will become x raised to 2 over 2 where in 2 over 2 is equal to 1 so that is simply x meaning in number 3 this is the final answer now let's move on with item number 4 so as you can see it is a combination of the radicand is a non-perfect square and a perfect perfect square variable so as you can see the square root of 32 is 16 square root of 2 it will become like this I will try to solve this we have the square root of 16 times 2 times x square I'm trying to factor it out we're in the square root of 16 is 4 I will put it outside the square root of x square is x based on our example number 3 and then since 2 is not a perfect perfect square perfect root it will remain inside the radical sign so what we have here as our answer is 4x times square root of 2 and this is the answer for item number 4 so I hope you're getting what we're trying to talk about here so we have 4 items already and let's move on with item number 5 for number 5 this one is quite a different example we have 18 which is not a perfect square we have x to the fifth power and not also a perfect square y cube so how are we going to do that so what we have here is this first we will factor out 18 factor out muna natin so we have 18 square root of 18 and that is 9 times 2 I chose 9 and 2 because 9 is perfect square and 2 is not and so what about the x to the 5th power for x to the 5th power ganito yan pwede siyang i-factor out as ito ha, x to the 5th power you can factor it out as x square times x square times x pag iwahiwalay natin and then the square root of x is x Kalabas natin yan, square root of x square is x ulit, in multiply mo lang, and then it will remain as x na lang dito sa, sa labas. Pero, yung x times x natin is the same as x square. So, when we try to get the square root of x to the fifth power, that is the same as this. Pero, sir, paano po? Kailangan ba natin ipakita bilang x second to power and x to the second power? Hindi. Uh, we can factor x to the fifth power wherein uh, dapat, pag pinaghiwalay natin exp yung exponent na 5, dapat uh, 1 is divisible by 2 because the index here is 2. So, paano po? Your x to the 5th power will become x to the 4th power. Because as you can see, your x squared times x squared is x to the 4th power. Then, we still have the variable x kasi 5th power yan. Sure, so, what about y cubed? For y cubed, you can factor it out just like this y square times y still this is y cube now extract the square roots square root of 9 is 3 put it outside and put a marking here meaning you're done getting the, the square root square root of 2 no uh, no whole number or not perfect square what about x to the fourth power the square root of x to the fourth power is x square your x, hindi siya perfect square. 
your y is a perfect square, square root of y is y. And then it will, your other y will remain here, meaning this is 2xy. We have 3x squared square y times the square root of 2xy. And this is the answer here, guys. Okay? So let's move on with the next examples. For the next examples, uh, we have here in number 6, we're in the cube root of x to the 5th power, y raised to 9, z raised to 14. So this one, the index is 3, meaning we're going to factor it out just like this. Yung x to the 5th natin, dapat ang factors ng ano, pag pinaghiwalay natin yung 5 na exponent, dapat 1 of the exponent is divisible by 3. Since ito ay 5, ang factors nyo na yung x cubed times x squared. Ganyan dapat yan kasi. 3 plus 2 is 5. Then yung 3 natin is, per, is divisible by 3, meaning perfect cube to, while this one is not. So what about y raised to 9? Yung y raised to 9 nyo, it will remain y raised to 9 because 9 is divisible by 3. So perfect cube to. So what about z raised to 14? 14 is not a perfect cube, pero pag pinaghiwalay natin siya as factors, it will become z raised to 12 times z squared. So paano mangyayari dito? Ito. Yung, ah, sorry, this is cube root. The cube root of x cube is simply x. Yung reason niyan, it will be pag convert nyo to is x raised to 3 over 3. So, magiging x na lang yan. Exponent is 1. So, the cube root of the x cube is x. Para na siya, isipin nyo na lang na, no? you're dividing this exponent using the index. Ganun na nangyayari. Sir, what about x square? Meron po ba? Wala. May iwan siya dito. Kasi, hindi siya perfect cube. Sir, what about y, y raised to 9? 9 divided by 3 is 3, meaning when we extract y raised to 9, the cube root is y cube. Kasi 9 divided by 3 is 3. Sir, what about the z, z to the 12 power? 12 divided by 3 is 4, so that is z raised to 4. Next, sir, what about z square? Hindi pwede kasi hindi siya perfect cube. So, kuha tayo dito ng cube root. Okay, so we have here x, y cubed, z to the fourth power times the cube root of x square and z square. And this is the answer, guys. Okay, so medyo sana nakakuha nyo na yung examples natin on how to do this. Let's move on with number 7. For number 7, 8 is a perfect cube. Sir, paano? Kasi, um... 8 is the same as 2 cube. So, pag kinuha cube root niyan, the answer is 3. Ah, uh, sorry, 2. So, dito, ito, the cube root of 8 is 2. The cube root of a cube, 3 divided by 3 is 1. So, a na lang siya. Then, since yung 2 is not a perfect cube, that is the square root, uh, the cube root of b square. Ito na mismo sagot natin. Medyo nakakalito lang siya sa una, pero sana makuha niyo yung mismong concept nito. Let's move on with number 8. For number 8, what we have here is this. So, ano yung first move? We have the square root of 75, x to the 7th power, y raised to 6, z raised to 10, 8, over 8, x cube, y raised to 7, z raised to the 4th power. Ako, before I extract the square root of expression, ito, I will try to simplify the expression inside. The 75 over it natin will remain as 75 over 8. 75. For the x variable naman, pwede kang gumamit ng ano, quotient rule. Di ba nag-subtract lang tayo ng exponents? x raised to 7 over x cubed is the same, parang ganito lang siya guys, pakita ko sa inyo. 
x raised to 7 over x cubed. Pares na x raised to 7 minus 3. Where in the answer is x raised to the 4th power. Ganyan siya. So, matitira dyan, x to the 4th power, pero sa numerator. Kasi mas mataas yung exponent ito. For the y naman, mas mataas yung exponent ng denominator. So, ano lang yan? y raised to the 4th power, kasi 7 minus 3. Lastly, for letter z, mas mataas yung exponent ng 10, at ng z sa numerator. So, 10 minus 4 is 6. So, this is z raised to 6. So, let's go. For the numerator, ako ang gagawin ko dito, I will try to separate the, the square root of the numerator and denominator. So, it goes like this. The square root of 75 x to the 4th power z raised to 6 over... Meron tayong property na ganito ah. Pwede paghiwalay yung square root ng ano, yung radicals ng numerator and denominator. Next. Over the square root of 8, y to the 4th power. Your 75 is not a perfect square. So, ang gagawin mo dito, factor mo yan. We're in one of the factors is a perfect square. So, that is um, 25 times 3. Next naman natin, yung x, yung x to the 4th power natin is a perfect square. So, as is na yan siya. So, natin dyan. Same with x raised to, ah, z raised to 6. Perfect square din yun. Over. Your 8 is not a perfect square. So, factor mo yan. Definitely, the factors are 4 times 2. Then, your y raised to the 4th power is a perfect square. So, extract na natin yung square root. Square root of 25 is 5. Square root of 3, hindi siya perfect square. Manin natin dito sa loob x to the 4th power, the square root of it is x square. The square root of z raised to 6 is z cube. So, matitira dito, itong 3. Square root of 3. Over. Ito naman. Square root of 4, 4 to 1, is 2. Square root of 2, wala. So, matitira to dito. Ha. And then, square root of y to the 4th power is y square. So, what will remain here is the square root of 2. And, uh, we can consider this as a final answer, pero, kailangan natin mag-rationalization kung walang ng extra paper. For this part, guys, meron tayong tinatawag na rationalization. Pakita ko lang sa inyo. Continue, continue natin ito dito. Ha. We have 5 x square z cube Square root of 3 over 2y square. Square root of 2. Kailangan wala kasing denominator yung... Wala kasing radical yung denominator. So, what we need to do is to do rationalization. Uh, basically, uh, yung pinaka-concept nun is to eliminate the denominator na may radical. So, multiply mo lang to by square root of 2. By the square root of 2. Ito. Ito become 5x square z cube square root of 3 times square root of 2 is square root of 6 over 2 y square and square root of 2 times square root of 2 is square root of 4 ito pwede nyo simplify so it will become 5x square z cube square root of 6 over square root of 4 is 2 Times 2, magiging 4, then y square. Again, sir, where, where did you get 4? So, denominator. The square root of 4 is 2, times 2, that is 4, then y square. And this is the answer, guys. So, napakahaba ng ating lecture video. I hope, guys, that you learned something from this video on how to simplify radicals. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe, but hit na yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!